Joe the Halo Junkie with an unboxing of the Razer Sabertooth uh, controller for Xbox. So this is a little bit more than an unboxing. Uh, this is the presentation of a controller that I will be uh, giving away. Uh, these controllers go for about $80 if I remember correctly. I uh, ordered this one from Amazon. And uh, uh, while this is an unboxing, this I have unboxed this before. I just put it back in the box. So this is not 100% a brand new item. I have opened it and used it uh, for just a very little bit, less than an hour, uh, to determine if it was something I wanted to keep or not. It wasn't, not because it's not a great controller, uh, just because I have something that I prefer. But instead of sending it back to Amazon, I decided to keep it and use it as a giveaway uh, on YouTube. And I will have uh, details on how you could have a chance to win this uh, towards the end of the video so please uh, stick around for that okay so we see on the outside of the box basically it just says Ra razor saber tooth um, it's a uh, license for xbox uh, this this is uh, legal for uh, tournaments and such because it's not really a modded controller what it does is it, it, allow, it has extra buttons on it so you can rearrange uh, which buttons do which and there's extra programmable buttons uh, on the back and the edge of it and I'll show you those. So here we got the front then we have the back of it so on the back basically it just kind of layers out where everything's at and I know you really can't read that but it says it's got a, a non-slip rubber surface um, it's got a place for the microphone jack it's got a, a little uh, OLED screen uh, for programming the buttons uh, you have your uh, four black lit uh, buttons here and then it's, uh, the, it is corded, and corded is better uh, for having less latency. Basically, it means when you press a button uh, on the controller, you have a more immediate response on the screen. And it shows what comes uh, with it. It comes with a carrying case. Uh, it has uh, two extra uh, programmable buttons on the shoulders. And then it has four programmable buttons on the back. And this is very important. I think this is a really great controller. I just have something that I prefer to use instead that's actually more costly. And I will also, I'll have a review on that also. Uh, but this is the Razer Saber So I'm going to open the box up here so you can see what would come with it. And keep in mind, this has been opened before. Basically, open the box. And the first thing that you see is a really nice uh, semi-rigid case. This is like a, a resin reinforced type fabric. It feels really good, and it has the uh, Razer logo kind of embossed on it. It's got kind of the uh, uh, hidden covered zipper, which is really nice, and this nice little green tab here. So very nice case, very professional. And inside the case, you have some really nice foam here in which the controller fits into. I mean, just absolutely perfect. And then you have your uh, place where your cord goes. And then you have this little uh, tool here, which is like a little star type tool. I'm not sure exactly what it is for, but you have that that comes with it. So let me show you what the cord looks like. The cord on this thing is really long. Um, I'm not sure, 10 feet. So you, the, the cord on it is 10 feet long. And it's got this little quick break thing. So if someone, uh, if you're playing the game and someone walks across the controller and said tripping on it, they'll just basically break it loose, which is really nice. I mean, it's a good way to prevent your Xbox from being destroyed or also uh, preventing uh, your controller from being destroyed by being yanked across the wall. also prevent someone from uh, tripping on it so easily. So let me take the, the little wire wrap off of it. And this is the wire wrap I added. I'm sure the wire wrap is a little bit different. But like I said, this has been open before and used for less than an hour. So you can see it's a nice long cord. The cord is uh, braided and is very strong. I mean, this is a very high quality cord. And it screws right onto the back of the controller. And you do have to line the pins up just perfectly or it won't work. And once you line them up, you just tighten it down. And then there's no way that that's accidentally gonna come out. I mean, that is, that is in there solid. You have the quick release brake here, but this is absolutely solid. So I'm gonna take that off of here, just so it's easier to just you know, show the controller around what we got. Okay, so basically, it's very much similar to the normal Xbox controller. The size is probably just a little bit uh, larger uh, than the regular Xbox. It just feels that way. I'm not sure it actually is, but it just feels that way. Uh, the feel is pretty good. It doesn't feel exactly like the regular Xbox, but it feels very close. It's got the, a very similar type uh, concave grip. And then uh, 
you also have um, the little screen down here and when this is plugged in and there's power to it th this will light up this will show you basically which buttons are programmed for which so you have your normal X Y B and A buttons here but then on t and then you have your normal uh, trigger buttons you know like for grenade if you were playing Halo this would be grenade and this trigger um, and then on Halo 4 I play bumper jumper so for me I jump with this button but the normal aren't the default in that but you also have these two little bumpers here that are kind of hidden back. They're called the M1 and M2. And those are programmable. So like if you wanted to hit your X button, like say if you were using X for jump, you could program your M1 to be your jump button instead of your X button. So if you were like jumping and shooting, you wouldn't have to uh, take your thumb off the joysticks in order to jump. You could just jump with that button. Or if you wanted to... Uh, uh, say change weapons instead of you know hitting one of these buttons over here to change weapon you could program this button or this button to change weapon and so you got two programmable buttons there which would take care of these two buttons you know get rid of two of these buttons here so you wouldn't have to take your fingers off the joysticks but then you also have these little rockers on the back and these rock down or up and there's two switches so basically they each direction is a switch so basically that makes four switches. So you basically have four programmable switches or buttons, whatever you want to call them, on the controller that you can program wherever you want to. I mean, if you wanted your normal uh, right bumper to be down here, you can program that. So basically what that means is you never have to take your fingers off the thumbstick for shooting games like, like Halo 4 or Call of Duty or that type of thing. This gives you a huge advantage because you can jump and spin around and shoot somebody all at one time we never have to move your thumb. I mean this controller gives you a huge tournament legal advantage over those that do not have this controller. And uh, I will tell you with a controller like this it takes getting used to. You have to get used to not moving your thumb to the button and it takes a little while. You're going to have a learning curve with this of a few days or a week depending on how quick of a learner you are, maybe a month to really get the full benefit of it. But this kind of controller can give you a huge competitive advantage. So I, I think this is a great controller. I, I would give it a, 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 a easily a five out of five star rating if there wasn't a controller out there that was better than it. And there is, uh, but by better, it's also more expensive. So there is a controller out there called the Scuff Controller, which this is a Scuff Controller, and these are much more expensive. And I will do a separate review on them uh, they basically have their extra buttons on the back and uh, I prefer this controller to this truck but I have near $200 for this controller by the time I've had it customized and this is an $80 controller for, so for bang for the buck this is a better controller so my review of the, of the Sabertooth would be basically I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 and if you've had the Razer Anza I would give the Razer Anza a 2 out of 5 I did not care for the Razer Onza. The Razer Sabertooth is a much better controller. And if I didn't already have something that I preferred, I would be happy to, to game for hours and hours on this controller. So, now you know what the controller is. Now I'm going to tell you how you can get a chance to win it for free. Um, as of the time of creating this video, I have 10 subscribers to my YouTube channel. It's a brand new channel. I created it uh, about two weeks ago. In order for me to give away this controller, I need to have 100 or more total subscribers to my channel. Also, there needs to be 100 or more likes to this video here. So, if you want a chance to win this, video, win this controller, you need to subscribe. You need to be a subscriber to be eligible. You need to subscribe to my channel. You need to hit the like button. And then, you need to leave some kind of comment in the comment section below. Doing those three things will put you into a, give you a 1 in 100 chance, and I'm going to limit it to 100. So when we have 100 subscribers, the first 100 subscribers that left a comment, only the, that left a comment, the first 100 subscribers that also left a comment will be in the drawing, and nobody else will be in the drawing. And uh, if you win, I will post uh, on that video who won, and you will have two weeks to claim that you acknowledge that you won and to claim your prize. If you do not acknowledge within two weeks, then I will draw again from the, you, you, you will forfeit your, your, your winnings 
and I will draw again from the remaining uh, 100 initial people. And they will also have two weeks. And we'll do that until we actually have someone that actually comes forward and claims their prize, acknowledges that they know they won, and that type of thing. So basically, once you subscribe and like and leave a comment, you need to pay attention to the channel and be watching for me to announce when the winner is. And that's basically it. And so if you uh, like a chance to win this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like uh, the video, and make sure you comment on it. And uh, stay tuned uh, because uh, sometime in the next week or so, I will have a review of my scuff controller. This is the Razer Sabertooth controller. Uh, Joe the Halo Junkie signing off, and good luck in the contest.